Hey viewers, Assalamu alaikum. We welcome you back to Curious Candies. Today our video is about demonstrating this electronic cooking device crock pot. Crock pot became popular in US during 1940s when ladies started to go for job. Come, let us see how to use this crock pot and what are the cooking options available. It has 5 cooking options, brown or saute, slow cook, roast, bake and steam. It also has temperature and timer control buttons. Also it has a power button and start and stop button. There is a glass lid, inside there is a steel grill stand. The purpose of this stand is to steam the food products by keeping the food products on it. The vessel inside is a heavy bottom non-stick vessel. Under that there is an electric heating plate. We should not cook food on the heating plate. Everything should be cooked keeping on the vessel. This heavy bottom vessel is heavier than the vessel used in electric cooker. Come let us see how I am cooking this delicious mutton soup in it. The ingredients which I am giving is for 4 legs of mutton. Mostly the mutton leg we buy from supermarket is clean of hair. I clean the mutton legs in water and then soak the mutton legs in water along with turmeric and rock salt. If there is any hair left on the leg, Cook in direct fire so that the hair gets burnt. Now add 3 cups of water to it. Remember, I am saying ingredients only for 4 legs of mutton. Now add 3 by 4 teaspoon of turmeric powder and 1 teaspoon of salt. Now let us keep the vessel inside a crock pot. Make sure that the outer body of this vessel is dry when keeping inside the crock pot. Close it with the lid. First press the power button. Then select the cooking option. I am going to cook this mutton using slow cook method. Yes, I am going to cook this mutton leg throughout the night using slow cook method. Now we have to select the timing. The minimum time displayed is 6 hours. But we can reduce the timing by using the control buttons. I set 10 hours to cook mutton leg. The temperature displayed for slow cooking is high and low. I selected low option by pressing the down button. After this procedure, we have to press the start button which is blinking right there. Now the blinking light goes to on mode and the cooking process starts. Now I am off to sleep. Let us see how this soup turns in the morning. Still there are 13 minutes of cooking left. The fat gets settled on the top forming a viscous layer. Slow cooking process prevents the food from much loss of nutrients. So the food will be not only delicious but also will be rich in nutrients. While in pressure cooker the food will result in much loss of nutrients when the pressure is released. Now let us see the ingredients to make masala for the soup. So 
So I have taken one and half teaspoon of coriander seeds, two teaspoon of peppercorns, one and half teaspoon of fennel seeds, one and half teaspoon of cumin seeds, and five dry chilies. I am dry roasting these spices until it releases the aroma of these spices. Switch up the stove and now add ginger and garlic pods. I prefer using Indian ginger and garlic while making traditional dishes. It will be rich in aroma. Let it get roasted in the heat from the pan. Now add star anise, cloves and cinnamon. Now grind it to a paste in a mixer. Here are the other ingredients. 1 cup shallots, 2 tomatoes, little coriander leaves and little curry leaves. Now I am adding gingerly oil to the pan. You can use any oil of your choice. Now add curry leaves. Then add shallots and saute them. Saute it until the shallots become translucent and the raw smell fades off. Now add two sliced ripened tomatoes. Saute the tomatoes until it gets well cooked. Add little salt. Now add the ground masala mixture to it. Mix it well. Add a cup of water to the remains in the mixer and add this water to the pan. Allow it to boil stirring often. Once it is well boiled, add it to the prepared broth in the crock pot. Mix the masala well with the broth. Now close the crock pot. Again this time I opted slow cooking but with high temperature and setting one not timing. Don't forget to add the coriander leaves. Once the cooking is finished in crock pot, the display turns to warm option. So we don't have to reheat the food again and again. It will stay warm until we switch off the power button. Our delicious mutton leg soup is ready to be served. This crock pot when compared to oven is easily portable, occupies less space and have different cooking options. If you want to know more about crock pot, ask me in the comment section. 
Now let us serve the soup in the bowl and see how it turns. It was delicious. The mutton legs are so well cooked that we can split it with a spoon. Hope you enjoy cooking with me. If you find this video useful, kindly like, share and if you haven't subscribed it, please subscribe Curious Candies. Don't forget to press the bell icon to get instant notification of my videos. See you all in another interesting video. Till then it's bye from Curious Mommy and Curious Candies. Candies.